Hi everyone. Today, let's talk about one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of data scientists make. That is pigeonhole yourself. Pigeonhole yourself doesn't just happen to data scientists. For example, engineers think they, can, they should focus on code. So even when they have opinions on products, they don't voice them. But it's more common or more severe among data scientists. Uh, because as data scientists, our professional training actually tells us to speak less, to tell us do not uh, give opinions or give conclusions unless you have evidence better causal evidence to back up those opinions or statements. But think about this, lacking causal evidence or lacking data, does this stop other people to make opinions? For example, PMs, for example, your manager, for example, your CEO. They have to make decisions. How they act is to gather the most complete information possible and make a judgment. They need to have opinions. They need to make decisions based on incomplete information. In reality, most difficult decisions actually do not have enough evidence. If there is enough evidence to make a high confidence decision, then everyone already jumped on the decision. There is no need to do a complicated analysis. So we need to change our mental model to fit this reality. Uh, the new reality is, in schools, we face sufficient conditions. Uh, our paper, our research, uh, there is a logical deduction. There are sufficient conditions. If you satisfy A, you'll get B. But in reality, there are necessary conditions. If you get A, you are necessarily going to get B. But if you don't have A, you are not going to have B. So your job as data scientist is not to get all the sufficient conditions. It's actually to identify as many necessary conditions as possible bring insights, bring analysis, bring facts to the table, and take a stand, have some opinions about the decision and the course of actions. When you do this, you may find out that you are more competent than most people. Your opinions are actually important, and it can help the business do better, even when you do not have all the sufficient conditions. And the reason is data scientists, they actually uh, know the data, and they know the nitty gritty of data. They often have good understanding and deep understanding about users, about technology, and about the industry. Those are all valuable. So do not pigeonhole yourself. Do not surprise your voices just because you are a data scientist. Have your opinion, take a stand, and try to help your team or your organization make better decisions. On the flip side, there is also a call out for the managers and leaders. Uh, do not waste the talent of a data scientist by just uh, having a translator in between and uh, give them SQL queries or just uh, limit them to build models. They are fully capable of understanding the user, understanding the business. When you put a translator in between, you are just limiting your data scientist or data analytics work and uh, make them less efficient and waste their talents. Encourage your data people to ask business questions and involve them in business decisions. Give them a voice on the table. Soon, you'll find out this will pay you a lot of dividends. This is Pragmatic Data Scientist. Hope you find this video useful. See you next time. Bye.